Snapchat. Joshua Combs here, Master Learning Habits, Student Mentoring Service. So this is just uh, update number two. So I just got done with my uh, meeting um, with the uh, shelter place. Um, I just my caseworker just applied for me to get my social security, my my ID, and social security ID and birth certificate. So I'll be getting all three of those. I've also she also applied my caseworker also applied for me to get my food stamps and cash card. The uh, next thing she did. Um, for me was set up a list of goals for myself um, of the things that um, that I will be doing um, to better my situation um, and those list of goals consist of let me find them uh, lots of paperwork here lots of paperwork I will be at your office responsible blah 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 oh here we go Oh, wait, no. Okay, well, and I think she has the list of goals, but the list of goals was finding an apartment, or getting an apartment, uh, getting my Social Security IDs and all that information, applying for food stamps and stuff like that, um, getting back onto my medication. So she also gave me a hotline number to call so that way I can get into a um, mental health facility. And also... Um, I and also my caseworker made it possible for me to go to the uh, temp agency and there I can start the process of getting hired and then by the time they get ready to process my application and do all these things I could bring my new ID and I could bring all my new uh, information. Uh, so this is just an update. So for people, if you're out there and you're not feeling too well about your current situation, there's definitely help for you. Um, they just passed, I believe, a bill not too long ago around, I believe it's $300 million for uh, homeless outreach or homeless communities and stuff like that. Um, but I would go ahead and do your research for that. Um, so there's definitely a lots of opportunities for individuals who are trying to better their situation, better their um, current uh, living situation, especially if they're homeless, if they're homeless and they have kids, um, and then there's there's uh, benefits for you as well. Uh, currently, uh, this is what my room looks like from a distance. So my room is about yay big. I got um, I finally got somewhere to put my books. I got a really good book here. Um, if you if you ever uh, get a chance to read this. This is one of this is my dad's old book called Call from Plus One Four Oh One uh, called uh, Breaking Chains. Um, anyway, so I got my little bookshelf. I got some place to hang my towels. Um, I got a place for me to sleep. Again, the room is by myself because of the coronavirus. I also have my own window and airflow and all that good stuff. I have a nice light and a nice little mirror to make sure I'm dressed appropriately. Um, and so, yeah, everything's going well. So again, um, if you're out there, you need help, um, you're looking for assistance, just do your best to re be resourceful. Um, and if anything, I would pick up the phone and call 211. 211 is like the emergency hotline. Um, and so you, you will be able to be helped in your region or your area or your county. Again, this is Joshua Combs coming to you with an update. Uh, this is basically me giving updates from basically um, uh, going to the lowest point, I would say, in my life and building, uh, setting a foundation to build myself up to where uh, I'm in a position to be stable for myself and uh, most importantly for myself and then second importantly for my kids and then anyone else, that um, any of my other loved ones and, and significant others in my life. Um, again, this is an update by Joshua Combs. Hope you guys have a great day. Remember to subscribe, click the like button, hit the bell notification, share on your social medias if you will. If you know someone in need, tag them in the video, tag them in this post. Um, and with that being said, peace, love, and happiness. You know the deal.